Thank you. Well, I get to follow Stacy. That's kind of an, an enviable task. But I do get to tell you about what I think is probably one of the more exciting topics for to close out this evening, and that is Ignite Phoenix 7 and where we're headed over the next few months. Every journey begins with a first step. For Ignite Phoenix, that was some 600 or so days ago. And we started at jobbing.com with about 16 presenters and 80 people. And we've grown from that, because of all of you, to over 500 people at the Tempe Center for the Arts to here, with 552 of you sitting in this room. So when it came to thinking about where we would go next, we thought, well, we can go the same way we've been going and come to venues that are set up for us and that make our lives easier and make you guys have a great night. Or could we take it to the next level and potentially define Ignite a little bit differently and make you guys think about Ignite a little bit differently? So we decided to take that second path. And you're asking yourself, so where does that path go? And we're headed to the Phoenix Art Museum, back downtown, back to central Phoenix. Ignite Phoenix 7 will be at the Phoenix Art Museum, like I said, on Friday, June 11th. That's important. It's a Friday, not a Thursday, not a Tuesday, a Friday. So, Phoenix Art Museum. That changes things up a little bit. How many of you been there? Show of hands? It's a pretty inspiring space, wouldn't you say? And it's a different space than we've been in before. So we think that that makes us want to take Ignite to maybe a little different of a level. So. We're giving Ignite Phoenix 7 a theme, and it's going to be the art of Phoenix. So you're asking yourself, what does that mean? What does that theme mean? Does that mean restrictions? Does that mean we have to structure things differently? The simple answer is no. We don't think that's the case. We're simply asking you to think about the space that you're going to be in, the Phoenix Art Museum, and take it to the next level. We don't think it's restrictive. We think you could create anything out of here. The one restriction we're gonna have is that every submission has to start with the art of fill in the blank. You get to define what that fill in the blank part is. And we don't think that's restrictive at all. It could be the art of going to the toilet. <laughs> it could be the art of flowers or the art of graffiti or the art of fashion. Whatever makes you tick, whatever makes you get up in the morning, tell us about it. But we're not stopping there. We're gonna go one step further. We know that you want to connect with the people that were on these, this stage tonight. And we try and do that with the after party. And we try and do that with the mingling that happens during the intermission. But we're going to go one step further. Every presentation that happens at Ignite Phoenix 7, there will be a table available for that presenter to go talk and interact with you, bring things that they may have wanted to associate with their presentation but couldn't have because they're here and not out there with you. So we hope this will bring a little bit different interaction for you. We hope this will make you guys take what the presenters do up here to the next level, make you interact with them. Because at the end of the day, how we define Ignite is how you define Ignite. We don't put restrictions on things. We don't tell you what you should be presenting about. We simply are asking you to define your experience here tonight and where you go after tonight. The Phoenix Art Museum comes with a few challenges. So we need you. We need you to continue to lift us up, all 550 of you that are here and those that couldn't make it tonight. But we also need you to think about the experience that you had here tonight. And if you enjoyed it, I'd encourage you to go out to your employers or if you own a business, and if you want to make Friday, June 7th, excuse me, Friday, June 11th, 2010 at the Phoenix Art Museum, the place to be in Phoenix, we need your help. Simply put, this event takes more, more money. If you've been to the Phoenix Art Museum, we don't have a space set up like this. We have to create it, and we'll need your help doing that. So if you love this event as much as I know all of you do, go out to your employers, or pick out your pocketbooks if you're a small business owner and make Ignite Phoenix 7 the place to be on that particular date. So, how are you gonna find out when tickets are available? You guys shocked and awed us. 27 minutes, all 552 tickets sold out. Good job on that. We're gonna encourage you to continue to follow us on Twitter. We have a Facebook fan page, as you can see there. Auden. Where's Auden? All right. With that being said, submissions are now open. When I get back to the back, that back black room area and click on our WordPress site, submissions will be open. But don't go home, because we've got a great after party starting right now 
right across the street at Dela Cruz Bistro. We'd love to talk to you. Take everything you thought about tonight. Talk to the presenters. Talk to everyone. We hope you have a great night. Thank you for coming out. Thank you again. Thank you.